going on everybody back here in installing the trunk of the car doing more and more work uh, you can see that there's there's no tail lights in it <laughs> there's no rear bumper I have everything blown out see everything sitting there fuel cell and battery and everything everything's pretty much mocked up you know everything's made metal bars made my anti-roll bars on the way and um, so the next step is to get some paint on this stuff a lot of people just throw some black paint on it, some primer, some black paint, leave what's there, cover up what you grind it into or weld it into. That's that. That's completely fine. Not going to hurt anybody. It's not the way I want to do it. It's. I think black is probably single-handedly, in my opinion, my worst color. Don't get me wrong, I like black interior, I like, but when it comes to painting your engine bay, painting the trunk, painting underneath, just everybody does black it's like it's like black fucking race wheels it's beyond it got played out 40 years ago you know it just so it just shows no creativity and no ingenuity so i don't like it at all so what i did was went down to my local paint store two cans of paint mixed up it's not a perfect match and they never will be out of these spray type cans but you can see it's it's pretty damn close to the same color of the car it doesn't need to be perfect. It's going to be undersized and in the trunk. 40 bucks for those two cans. And it, I promise you, promise you, it's going to look 10 times better than some fucking matte black fucking spray paint everywhere. Yeah, you, you can do the matte black. Go, go to Walmart, buy some $4 spray paint, blast it on there and have a day of it. But like I said, it's boring. It's played out. So I've already scuffed up a ton of stuff under here. I gotta drill out the brake line, the rear brake line that I made. So you can see everything's out. You can see my trans cooler on the ground, fuel system on the ground, I got laid back. Everything's pulled out. So I've already scuffed almost all of this. I got a couple more spots to scuff. I got a. I ran my rear brake line, and uh, it's pop riveted in. I didn't want to have to fucking bolt this whole thing in, so I riveted it. I got to take it back out, and um, flare. Where are you here? I got to take it back out and. Uh, flare this and I gotta bend this a touch so it's more centered. I'm gonna flare this and get a fitting on it. Same with the other side but it's all done and ran but I gotta drill these spot welds out. So I'm only painting up until that bulkhead right there. And then um, when I pull apart over winter, I'll do from there up, just so it's not so grungy and nasty under here. You can see I got all the welds, torque boxes all welded up, lowers. I gotta get a little more uh, undercoating for in there. You can see where I welded the trunk hinges on. But uh, Uh, let's finish the uh
crazy with all the primer. I mean, this is paint under here, so you can put paint over it. I mean, you can do whatever the hell you want. I'm just telling you what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to blast this whole thing down with air and uh, get some primer on the bare metal areas. Now that you got all your bare metal spots um, primed, all your bare metal stuff in primer, you let your primer dry, time for this color coat. Um, like I said, my local Levine's went in there with a piece of trim, and uh, he told me it wouldn't be a perfect match, but you know, it should, it should be close enough to look pretty damn good. So let's uh, lay some of this down and see what happens. Tell me how much better that looks. I mean, it just, for 40 bucks, 
40 bucks. You go from dull ass black, boring dull ass black, to show car quality. Don't get me wrong, it's not perfect by any sense of the means. But for a car that's going to be driven on the street and it's going to be raced hard, that's beautiful. I mean, I could put that in a car show and people will be like, damn, that's nice. Um, I just have a thing about painting the undersides the same color as the car versus a black. So I'm going to let that dry up a little bit. Uh, you don't do anything. That's, that's your clear coat. That's your everything. So I'm going to get the fan going, get this all blown out. Um, I'm going to let it dry. And I can get my trans cooler back in. I can get my... Uh, uh, fuel system back in, I can get the battery back in, I can build the floor now because I'm probably going to do have a piece of aluminum and um, that's that, that's final assembly I'm going to start getting the wiring all back back in there because it's just tucked up in the wheel well right now so it's out. that's what that piece of cardboard was for you so that's that so I hope you guys take the time spend a couple extra dollars to just get such a better looking finished product I mean, that just looks 10,000 times better. So, I hope, uh, like I said, I hope you um, spend the time. Yeah, there's probably going to be a little bit of overspray on the car, uh, on the glass and everything, which most people will have a problem with. I don't, as the car, the whole car needs to get wet sanded and buffed anyway. So, I will... That will all be taken care of so don't anybody worry about that when you go to comment about it now that it's all dry you can start hanging all your stuff back in here so let's get all these fuel lines back in let's get this brake line back in tranny cooler back in let's get the battery start getting electrical back in <laughs> Once I get the floor made up, I have the bulkhead fitting for this to go up, uh, for the return to go up through the floor. And that's where um, my uh, flex fuel sensor will be. It will be right behind the tank on the inside. Wipe your stuff down. It looks pretty good. It looks new again. Finish up with that brake line. That brake line's all mounted back up in there. You can see the trans cooler is mounted all back in. Fuel lines mounted all back in. Fuel cell sitting in its place. Batteries in. Wiring hanging down. Getting ready to go in. Um, I even have my control arms hanging. These are UPR Pro Series, I think. Spherical. 
spherical double adjustable. Um, these are nice. The only problem was I bought half inch grade eight bolts and they didn't fit through the sleeves or through this end. I mean, it kind of sucked, but what I, I just took a half inch drill bit and you know, drilled them out so they're nice. I don't know what size bolt was supposed to be in there, but now it's half inch. <laughs> so you can see it's starting to look starting to look pretty cool under here. The paint looks really nice. Much better. Oh, this fucking wiring hanging down. God damn, this is for a uh, drive shaft speed sensor. Um Yeah, it's looking pretty goddamn good under here. Well, I am very happy with the way this is all coming out. I just gotta get uh, more parts. More parts. Yeah. Let's see the wiring's going back in. I remade uh, a relay panel. I know it's kind of hard to see because I moved it. But I remade the uh, oh shit. Remade the relay panel for my fuel pump out of uh, real carbon now. This is my ARP holding it in. I was getting a lot of flack for uh, the carbon wrapped aluminum I had. Editing up a video, watching Lights Out 9. Another project in the books. Another piece down on the list. Cross it off and keep on moving forward. Uh, that's it for this one. My next one's probably gonna be the anti-roll bar. I'll do the unboxing with that and the install of that. Might drag the rear end back out under the car to get that set up. I mean, probably because you got to weld some little uh, brackets to the rear. So, I mean, we, we went over how to set that up. So, that's a quick, easy thing. Uh, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you choose to use paint instead of black spray paint. Hope to, unless, obviously, unless your car is black. Uh, it just... You can see it just looks that much better. So get out in the garage, get something done on your car, have a cold one. Have a good night, guys.